my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on some thrifted items that I got from Goodwill or Salvation Army. And I want to get these flipped and get them into my booth. So I have, my first one is this chair that I got. It's a little kid's or doll chair that I want to do over. And I'm just going to give it a quick sand. It needs... Uh, it definitely needs some paint or something because it's bad. So it was a little bit shiny and it had a few stains. So I just sanded it all down a little bit just to scuff it up so the paint would, would adhere to the wood a little bit better. So this is folk art paint in the color Mushroom. I love this color so, so much. And I used it last year a little bit. And I just found my bottles again. They had fallen down behind because they were little small bottles. And I just love this color. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love it. It's calming to me, I guess. It's kind of like that moss green from Waverly. I just love that too. But I did two coats on that. It really needed the coverage. And now I'm taking just a chip brush and some black spray paint. I don't want to sand this back. I want to... Just give it some highlights around the edges of black. Uh, I don't want this super distressed surprise, right? I usually like that. But today I just want to give it some black highlights. So you can see I'm just touching the edges there and it is finished. I got this cool shaped basket from Goodwill for a couple dollars and I just love the shape of it. It could be used for anything in the bathroom, for storage, uh, just for decor, whatever you want. So I am going to take some folk art paint in the color Mushroom. I just love this color and I'm going to use that on this basket. So it will take two coats to go over this. I'm going to try and go both ways with it. You go up and down and you go side to side and that does a really great job in covering most of the basket. As you can see here, it looks really good. Now I'm just going to take my sandpaper and just sand back a little bit and have some of that brown from the original basket come through. I really like it, just not that much. So just giving it, as you can see, it's just peeking through here and there and I think it looks really cool. Then I'm just going to throw on some, it has a few spots up around the top, like a hole, and I wanted to kind of cover it up a little bit and kind of primitive decor it up a little bit. So I took some of this black and tan homespun material and just tied it on each end that one side had a, a little bit of a hole. So I just wanted to cover that. So I'm covering that up with a little knot and then I'm going to go around and do the other side as well and try to get it about the same as I possibly can. I do go back after, I don't think I show it here, but I go back after and touch it with a little bit of hot glue to get it to um, stay in place so it will cover up that hole. It's not huge, but I don't know. I just wanted to do that. I took a little piece of triangled uh, homespun material, same stuff, the black and tan, and gonna take some jute rope and just wrap it around there and make a nice bow on the front. I thought it would look really nice.
I thrifted this wood bowl from Salvation Army and I really love picking these bowls up. I don't like the both sides being brown so I'm going to flip it over and take some of my mushroom folk art paint. I love this color. I've said it a million times, I know, but I really do. Uh, and so I'm going to put this uh, on the bottom of my bowl. I'm going to do two coats on there so it's nice and covered and has a great uh, base coat for this bowl. Once the two coats are dry, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the top rim just around the edge there and fill that in with the mushroom paint as well. I think this looks really nice and gives the bowl a really cool two-tone look. Now I went down on my stash to find a bottom for this bowl. I decided I wanted to make it kind of a pedestal bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bottom, two coats, and uh, make sure that that looks the same or similar to the bowl. Normally if you're going to glue something together you probably shouldn't paint the bottom but I did so I'm just scuffing it up with my uh, sandpaper and now I'm going to take E6000 and go around my little bowl and put that on the bottom of the big bowl. So I scuffed up the edges just a little bit and sanded down some of the uh, spots that needed to be sanded down just, just lightly. Uh, there was some brush strokes and stuff I wanted to get out of the top. Now I'm taking my black spray paint. I sprayed it on this chip brush and I'm just going to go over it. I kind of spray it on and then tap it off. It dries very fast. So, But I don't want a heavy, heavy black color on there, but I'd like to highlight the edges again. I love the black against this mushroom color. I think it looks so nice and so I don't want a lot of black but just a little little touches here and there. So I just go around uh, the edges on the inside and out just to give it those highlights and then I'll flip it over and also do the bottom and then I'm going to take it a little bit further and go around with the black paint on my chip brush and just lightly give it some black just little streaks just some highlights here and there to hit off from the paint some of the brush strokes and it will just kind of bounce off the top and leave a little bit of black just to give it a hint of distressing. was a bit of a uh, space between the uh, you can hear my rooster <laughs> there's a bit of space between the bowl the little bowl and the big bowl when I glued it it didn't quite sit flat enough so I went ahead and I'm just gonna glue in there and take some of my jute rope and go around the outside I'm just going to cover up that gap that's there and any of the E6000. When I bought E6000, it was in a white color, which I didn't know it came in white. And it had, um, I just, I didn't want to return it because it was a long ways away where I bought it. And I figured I'd use it, but sometimes it creeps out from underneath projects that I do and I have to figure out a way to hide it, even though I try not to get it so it does that. But you know, it just happens. 
But anyway, I just went all the way around and that covered it up nicely and it doesn't look too bad. And I really love this bowl. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed my thrift flip projects today between the rooster crowing, the hound dog snoring, and you might be able to hear my washer and dryer going in the background. You know, I'm multitasking today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.